For our last topic, the promissory notes under the simple interest. A promissory note is a written promise on the part of the borrower to pay another person his financial obligation. So in cases na kailangan i-document ng hiniraman ko, yung aking borrowed money, okay, firmado, okay, that is called the promissory note. Kung gustong i the document siya, including including the amount, the date, the length of time, and of course the rate. Okay, it's either interest rate or the discount rate. It includes the agreed interest or discount rate and term. Kasali dapat yung interest and discount rate, pati yung length of time. And there are two types of promissory notes: the simple interest note and the bank discount note. So ano yung comparison ng dalawa? Sa simple interest note, it is a promissory note where the principal P is explicitly written. So, dapat na specify talaga or na-highlight talaga doon yung principal P. It is better referred to as the face value of the loan. The total amount to be repaid on the maturity, maturity date is the maturity value F. So, yung principal P is referred sometimes as the face value and the F for the future amount is also called the maturity value. Sa bank discount note naman, it is an often used promissory note where the maturity value F is explicitly written. So kung sa simple interest formula, principal kailangan naka-indicate naka doon. Okay? Sa bank discount note naman, ito yung dapat Yung F yung dapat naka-indicate talaga doon sa promissory note. It is the amount to be paid by the borrower. The interest is computed on this amount and deducted in advance. Okay? Based nga sa term na bank discount. Okay? Discount meaning yung interest doon is the deducted in advance. The sum of money received by the maker is called the proceeds P. Okay? For the simple interest note, for example, may isang note ako dito, promissory note. Yung naka-indicate dito na amount is 100,000 pesos. Meaning, this is the principal value or the face value. Okay, may address, Manila, Philippines. And the date, June 29, 2008. 120 days after the above date, the undersigned promises to pay to the order of Rodolfo Dizon, the sum of 100,000 pesos only with interest at 16% per annum per annum meaning per year payable at North East Banking Corporation, Manila Signed, Kevin Lacerna So the maker of the note is the, the undersigned Okay, si Kevin Lacerna The payee is Rodolfo Dizon the face value is 100,000 as indicated. Simple interest rate is 16%. The term or the length of time is 120 days. The origin date of term is June 29, 2008. Be, uh, based sa heading ng ating promissory note. Okay. In finding for the maturity date after 120 days, based sa origin date which is June 29, 2008, Kung gusto kong malaman yung maturity date nun, okay, we are going to compute 120 days from the origin date. Okay? So, from June, there is only one day left. Kasi June, June has 30 days. Minus 29 is 1. July has 31 days. August has 31. September has 30 days. And October... 27 days na lang kasi kung lalampas ako ng 27 days, lalampas na din ako sa 120 days na maturity term. Okay? So, yung maturity, maturity date ng aking promissory note is on October 27, 2008. Okay? So, finding for the interest to be paid kung magkano yung interest na babayaran ko after 120 days using the simple interest formula. So, I is equal to PRT. P is 100,000. R is 0. 0.16. Then, T is 120 days over 360 days bankers 
rule. Kasi days yung unit ng ating time, we have to divide it by 360. So, our interest is 5,333 pesos and 33 centavos. And, finding for the maturity value F, kung magkano talaga yung babayaran ko lahat-lahat in total, so, we add ko ngayon yung principal or yung face value plus yung interest value. So, 100,000 plus 5,333 that is 105,333 pesos and 33 centavos. Okay, for the bank discount note, may example tayo dito, 150,000 pesos. Ito yung indicated na maturity value F natin. And address Manila, Philippines, March 23, 2008 yung date. 150 days after the above date for the value received with interest at 9% per annum discounted to maturity. The undersigned promises to pay to the order of Manila Finance the sum of 150,000 pesos only, payable at Manila Finance signed, Remedios Mutok. So the maker of the note is Remedios Mutok. The payee is Manila Finance. Maturity value 150,000. Simple discount rate 9%. The term is 150 days and the origin date of the term is March 23, 2008. Eight. So, finding for the maturity date after 150 days based sa ating origin date, which is March 23, 2008. So, March has 31 days. So, 31 minus 23. Yung remaining days na lang for March is 8. April 30, May 31, and so on for July. August has only 20 days na lang for para makompleto yung 150 days. So, the maturity date of the term is on August 20, 2008. So, finding for the interest to be deducted in advance, interest pa rin yung tawag, pero deducted na siya in advance sa aking hihiramin na pera. So, using the simple discount formula, I is equal to F times D times T. 150,000 times 0 0.09 times 150 over 360 bankers rule and that is equal to 5,625 pesos for the interest which is being deducted in advance. So next is to find for the proceeds kung ilan nyo magiging pera na matatanggap ko upon requisition sa pera ko. In Yung, kung yung interest ay nadedact na doon sa aking hihiramin na pera. So, F is equal to 150,000 minus I which is 5,625. So, yung proceeds ko, yung matitirang pera sa akin is 144,375 pesos. So, another word problem, the maturity value of a 6-month Simple interest note was 33,000. If the interest rate was 18% per year, what is the face value of the note? Face value is P. So given yung maturity value natin which is F, that is 33,000. So within 6 months and 18% interest rate. So using the simple interest formula for in finding for P, in terms of F, okay, P is equal to F over 1 plus RT. Substitute lang natin. 33,000 over 1 plus 0.18 times 6 over 12. Then, yung denominator natin is magiging 1.09. 33 divided by 1.09 is 30,275 pesos and 23 centavos face value. The second one a simple interest note for 80,000 pesos at 16% per annum was signed for 102 days. Find the maturity value. So, stated simple interest note for 80,000 pesos, meaning yung 80,000 pesos natin dito is our face value since, since galing siya sa simple interest note. So, we have to find for F or the maturity value. Using pa rin 
based sa ating simple interest topic, simple interest formula topic, F is equal to P times 1 plus RT. Substitute, 102 over 360 times 0 0.16 is equal to 0 0.045 plus 1 is equal to 1.045 times 80,000 that is equal to 83,626 pesos and 67 centavos for our F. Our third example, Risa signed a 62,000 pesos bank discount note at 10%. If the proceeds was 60,000 pesos, what was the term of the note? So, bank discount note na tayo dito. So, given yung maturity value 62,000 and the proceeds, P is equal to 60,000, makukuha na natin yung I. Ima-minus lang natin yung dalawa which results to 2,000 Pesos. So, using the simple discount formula for T, T is equal to I over FD. I is 2,000 over 62,000 times 0.10. Yung result sa baba is 6,200. So, 2,000 divided by 6,200 is equal to 0.323 years or 3.87 months. That is the term of the bank discount note. So, our last example, a bank discount note again for 80,000 pesos at 8% has a term of 9 months. Find the interest charge in advance in the proceeds. So, given again yung 80,000 pesos which is our maturity value since gumamit tayo ng bank discount note. Okay, so computing for the I or the interest charge in advance Okay, ay muna yung ay muna yung i-compute natin una using the simple discount formula FDT. F is 80,000 times 0 0.08 times 9 over 12. That results to 4,800 pesos. This is the interest which is being charged in advance sa aking 80,000 na maturity value. And finding for the proceeds 80,000 minus 4,800 our interest. The proceeds is equal to 75,200 pesos. So that ends our simple interest topic. So for your questions, just comment down on our discussion section.